What's up guys, we're back in the shop today. We're actually working on Grandpa a little bit here, my 03 Chevy Silverado 1500. And Oxylum was nice enough to send over their LED headlights for me to try. I got a set for the low beam, this is the M55 series. I'll go ahead and install those and see how they are. And if they are pretty good, we'll go ahead and get a set of high beams for this thing from them and a set of uh, bulbs for the driving lights. And we'll just put LEDs everywhere on this truck as much as possible. But yeah, they also hooked me up with a affiliate code that'll be down in the description below where you guys can get yourself a set of headlight, LED headlight bulbs for your Silverado or whatever they sell many different uh, many different flavors of bulbs so shouldn't have a problem finding one for your vehicle and you'll be able to save a little bit of money on them when you buy them from there so we'll go ahead and get this hood popped open and we'll start pulling these headlights out and gm engineers are doing things right when they design the cat eye because these are some of the best headlights as far as viewing and visibility at night that I have ever dealt with in GM trucks. I haven't drove any of the new stuff, but as far as I know, these are a lot nicer than the uh, O2 and B4s. So, the ease of taking these out to replace the bulbs is really easy too. You just go ahead and pop this pin. You can actually pull that up and slide it underneath there without having to remove this piece to get your headlight out. Go ahead and do the same to this side. Bam, like that. Go ahead and pull it out. Getting it around the front bumper sometimes can be a bit of a pain. Then go ahead and unplug both headlights. It's a little tab on the back there, voila. We got them out, 9006 low beam and the 9005 high beam on the inside. So we'll go ahead and get the other side pulled out and we'll cut you guys back on. We'll open up these bulbs and see what they look like. All right, go ahead and ignore the mess on the bench here amongst a couple different projects right now. So anyways, I'll go ahead and get my knife here. Take off this protective plastic wrap here. These are the M55 series, like I said before. I have no idea what they look like. Actually, I have not, not Googled these up. I have seen some different, I've looked for the website, but I did not know what style I was getting. So they kind of surprised me. But yeah, cool. Comes with the product manual. Comes with a nice set of little gloves to put them on, or not to put them on, but to put them in. I don't think I'll need them. Uh, I know where to touch and where not to touch. But uh, yeah, this is what they look like. Whoa, these are pretty cool. These are heavy, wow. It's heavy, got nice fan heat sink on the back of them. Nice little connection there, nice uh, cast. I'm assuming it's cast aluminum, but uh, yeah, these look pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is a fitment a little bit. The O3s, these trucks don't have a lot of space behind the bulb. So I'm hoping they'll fit without modification. If it requires a little modification, we'll go ahead and bust out the die grinder, clean it up, make it fit. It shouldn't be too bad, but uh, I'm hoping it'll fit with no problems. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, pop out the 906. Just a standard uh, Hallinger bulb there. I like to go ahead and put these bulbs back in the package of the other bulbs. And I'll go ahead and put this one in. Fits like it should, pops right down, and it really is not much deeper than a standard bulb, so that's kind of nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the same with this side. I don't know if you guys can see this side or not on camera. Let's pop that out. Same thing, put the bulb back in that box. Then go ahead and put this in here, like that, and voila. So now, I'm going to go ahead and see if they fit. All right, I got the driver's side here. So I'm, gonna, I'm just curious to see if this is going to fit. But we'll go ahead and plug everything in. Plugs in good. Plugs in, voila. Unfortunately, my tab is broke a little bit. But uh, that's, that's not the big issue. Got a couple tabs on the bottom, you gotta get in there. You also gotta get back past the grill a little ways. 
and we are having some slight fitment issues, but, oh man, wow, that's just barely past that, and there's plenty of room for it to breathe. That is a perfect fit, actually, that, that lines up good. I should be able to get the uh, rod in there just fine. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if it, the high beam would fit, but in low beam position, that fits just fine. So let's go ahead and grab a pin here. Pop a pin back in this bad boy. And in this case, it's gonna kind of line up semi-ally okay. It does have a little bit of interference issuing, I'm thinking. No, not too bad. Just how, how this lines up. Yeah, that's nice and solid. And like I said, just barely enough room behind the uh, lights to put any aftermarket bulb. So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the other side. We'll put that side in real quick. Then we'll see what they look like. Right. Let's grab this side. And the pin there. Set these in. Good to plug the factory halogen stock bulb in for the high beam, and then we'll plug in the new LED low beam and see how it goes. Let's gonna fight a little bit and try and get the bottom. There we go. It does take a little bit of fighting. This side's, is it different than this side? A little bit, but that should keep it from going. And then we're in, we're a little bit of problems. There we go, barely. Okay, there, now we're in. Real tight squeeze again, like I said, but it got in there, so. I think, are we in? No, we are not in. We are not in. I'm gonna try that one again. Get the front, that might've been our problem the whole time. That was our problem the whole time. This side's a little, little messed up anyways, cause this side did get hit at one point in time by a, by a, by a small average size gear. Uh, totally busted the, some of the grill up and the bumper, but I was able to fix a lot of it and get it back together. So, go ahead and put this pin in. This side is close like the other side was. And voila. Set it over in that little retainer. Nice and solid feeling. All right, guys. I'm going to turn these on and see what they look like. Whoa. That was bright. Actually, they were, I'm impressed. Those are fairly bright headlights. They look pretty good. We'll uh, flip the high beam on compare. This has, uh, it's working correctly. This has the uh, chip in it. Ooh, the uh, fans are on, I hear them. They, uh, they, they work. But this has the chip in it to have the high beams on, the low beams along with the fog lights. If that's worked correctly today, we'll see how they look. It is working, and you can barely tell the halogen bulbs are on compared to those uh, LEDs. Wow, them LEDs are just so much brighter. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. I like that. They look nice. I think they'll work real well. We'll definitely have to see how they look at night, but I honestly don't think I'm going to have a problem with those. So yeah. Well, as you guys can see, they were pretty bright, and uh, I'll see how bright they are at night in the coming weeks when I drive it, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the uh, fitment. They are a tight squeeze on the back of the, uh, the old cat eye here, but uh, they, they fit, so yeah, I'm happy. Like I said, I don't know about the high beams. I think the high beams might uh, be a little tight, might, cause, or might require a little bit of modification with the uh, Series 55s. But uh, I think you can get them in there. And uh, yeah. So, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you guys are looking for a set of these lights or set of LED lights for your, uh, your rig or whatever, 
uh, go ahead and check their website out. Uh, use the affiliate link in the description below. Saves you guys a little bit of money. Helps the channel out a little bit. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And have a good rest of your week.